Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 7th, and this is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley. Why do some couples seem to grow apart? Dr. Tim Hogan explains. But first, your local weather and this news. During a visit to Detroit focused on the economy, Vice President Kamala Harris announced a $100 million investment by the Biden administration to assist small and medium-sized auto parts manufacturers in upgrading facilities and training their workforce, aligning with President Biden's push for electric vehicle adoption. These grants will allow businesses to upgrade production and production lines to produce parts for electric vehicles. The move underscores the significance of the EV transition here in Michigan, a key battleground state in the upcoming presidential election. The Republican State Leadership Committee criticized the investment, citing auto manufacturer losses on electric vehicles. A spokesperson said, quote, the push from Lansing and Washington Democrats to force electric vehicles on everybody shows how out of touch they are with reality and how they have no interest in addressing key issues like improving the economy. A long-lost crown adorned with 12 stars was unearthed in the St. Hyacinth Parish basement in Detroit. It was quickly discovered to have once belonged to the parish's Immaculata statue. The statue, crafted by Paul Landowski in 1920, was originally housed in Immaculate Conception Church until its demolition in 1981 to build the General Motors Detroit Hamtramck plant. Despite protest and a sit-in, the statue found a new home at St. Hyacinth, since then, the crown had been missing. Susan Krauss, the sacristan at St. Hyacinth, discovered the missing crown during her exploration of the parish's basement, prompting its restoration to the statue during the parish's May crowning event over the weekend. And the Archdiocese of Detroit has announced the passing of Sister Gloria Corhunen of the Order of Preachers and Sister Faye McFarlane of the Servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Sister Gloria was in the 62nd year of her professed religious life in the Adrian Dominican Congregation. For 47 years, she served as the musical director of St. Joseph Church in Port Huron, where she composed many musical works for the parish and was a published composer. The city of Port Huron honored her with a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2016. Her funeral mass will be this Thursday at 1030 at the St. Catherine Chapel in Adrian. She was 95. And Sister Faye McFarland professed with the servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in Monroe in 1947. She worked at several elementary schools in Riverview, Carleton, River Rouge, and Detroit. In her later years, she moved to Port Huron to care for her elderly parents. She passed away on Tuesday, and her funeral mass was held last Friday at the Mother House Chapel in Monroe. And adhering to her wishes, she was given a green burial at St. Mary's Cemetery. Requie Scott and Pache. This is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio. Your weather's next. Now this. Persecution around the world has manifested itself through the centuries, but it is worse today than ever before. Aid to the Church in Need and its donors have been there to help since 1947, never abandoning the Church or her most vulnerable children. Will you stand up for your faith and accompany our brothers and sisters on their spiritual journey? Visit Church in Need. Dot org. Church in need. Dot org. In the Motor City today, we can expect showers and possibly a thunderstorm after 5 p.m. The rest of the day will be partly sunny with highs in the lower 70s. Those evening showers should taper off by 2 a.m. and our lows will dip to the upper 50s tonight. Tomorrow, we'll have sunny skies and highs in the upper 70s. The showers return on Thursday with thunderstorms possible as well. Highs will be in the lower 60s. And there's also a chance of rain on Friday with highs in the mid-60s. In the Saginaw Valley today, we can expect showers and possibly a thunderstorm after 5 p.m. The rest of the day will be cloudy with highs in the lower 70s. The rain should taper off tonight around 2 a.m. and lows will dip to the mid-50s. Tomorrow we'll have mostly sunny skies and highs in the mid-70s. The rain returns on Thursday with highs in the mid-50s. And Friday we'll have mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the lower 60s. Why do some couples seem to just grow apart? 
Relationship therapist Dr. Tim Hogan joined Teresa Tomio on Catholic Connection with some insight. Well, I think part of this is, as you and I know, our um, everything that's happened in the past, uh, whatever, maybe since smartphones came out in 2007, I think our nervous systems were just not ready for all the stimulation. I mean, things weren't great before then, but boy, I think we just we just were like a fish chasing shiny things in the water, and you know, our phone is constantly distracting us. I think we have access to more opportunity than we've ever had. The parents who are listening, they know their kids just have unlimited uh, opportunity. And we've lost track of what's most important, I think. I think we've lost track of the, the stuff that really makes human life uh, worth living and a spiritual life worth living. So, but, yeah, you, you see that, too. I see that. Couples just don't take the time to have uh, 20 minutes at the end of the day to look into each other's eyes and just share how they're doing and acknowledge God's presence in their relationship. Yeah. So what kind of an impact then does that lack of acknowledgement, taking the time for each other, even as you said, 20 minutes a day, over time, how does that impact the relationship, Tim? Yeah, well, we are, are God wired us uh, for relationship and wired us for partnership. That's, you know, I think the brilliance of the Catholic Church that we call this a sacrament. It's a very uh, sacred, both it's a, pa- a place where we experience God's grace between us and we also experience, uh, we kind of show that to people, what, what love is really like. And when we don't take the time physically with all of our senses to get in sync with our spouse, um, over time we lose that sense of attachment. You know, and parents tend to not lose that with kids. Um, you know, when you see your kid, even when they're like, you know, breaking things and whatever, we still have the sense of, okay, it's my kid. I'm not going to mm-hmm. throw him out on the front porch and lock the door. But with our spouse, that sense of neurological attachment does get lost. And people talk about that. They just look across the room and they say, I don't even know who this person is. I don't even know if I want to be married anymore. And I think that's what's happened. It's, a, it's a, partly a physical thing that happens in the nervous system. They lose that part of the brain that experiences attachment. Catholic Connection is weekdays at 8 a.m. on Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. St. Cyril of Alexandria says we are no longer mere men, but sons of God and citizens of heaven through becoming partakers of the divine nature. I'm Matthew Handley. That does it for this edition of Michigan Mornings. You can stay connected with me on X. I'm at Radio Handley. Lord willing, I will talk to you again tomorrow. And until then, goodbye.